Hello friends, welcome to this video. We are going to be learning how to draw the butt muscles. With all joking aside, I think we'll just go ahead and get started. So there's three different muscles in this that are visible for artists. And the first one that you're probably most familiar with is a gluteus maximus. So let's go ahead and start with that. And we have three different views here. I have the posterior view and the lateral view. And the gluteus maximus, is going to start on the origin right along the ilium here. It's gonna curve down and it's gonna kind of do, well, let's take a look at the isolation view here. If you're interested, I'm using complete anatomy to take a look at this. All right, so it curves right along here, the ilium, and it also does a little bit of curve inside of the sacrum, and then it comes along down at the bottom of the pelvic bone. And then it does a, another S curve and attaches to the uh, to the top of the femur and it comes up right along the great trochanter and connects up back up to the ilium. So here's our origin, here's our insertion down here. So let's go ahead and draw another one here, right along the ilium, right along the sacrum here, the bottom of the pelvis, and then over to the femur and attaches to the femur, goes up along the reach canter and curves down. So this is the gluteus maximus. Now let's talk about the movement. The gluteus maximus is in charge of extension, so that's moving the leg back, and it's also abduction, that's moving the leg out. So it would be out and moving the femur back. So when you're walking or when you're say you're doing a jumping jacks, and it also is really, useful as part of our core muscles to help us get up, sit up and down. All right, now let's take a look at the next muscle, which is the gluteus medius. Now this muscle is kind of a helper muscle and let's go ahead and look at the anatomy. Now this one is gonna fill out most of the ilium here is this muscle right up to, to the front essentially and right down here to the top of the femur. And then it goes about three quarters of the way back of the pelvis, curves down here. And then it does this little V shape and it connects to the greater canter of the femur. And it looks kind of like a, a funnel. So that is the gluteus medius. And as far as movement here, it is also in charge of abduction. So moving the leg up and it also does rotation. It moves the femur in toward the body. So I'll represent a twisting motion and then moving the femur out or pulling it up from the side view. All right, now let's take a look at the last one here and that is called the tensor fasciae latte. Now this one is part of the fascia called the IT band. So I'm gonna draw this in a couple different colors. It starts here at the top of the ilium, comes right down along the pelvis. It doesn't attach to the femur, but it does cover that part of that femur bone and it's kind of a curved triangle. It's a bit smaller muscle. And then I'll change colors here and do the IT band, which does cover the femur. It doesn't attach to it. Uh, it attaches, the point of origin is right here at the ilium. Same with the other ones. And it goes right down goes right along about halfway down the femur and then it starts to come to the front of the leg and attaches actually to the tibia. And so point of insertion for the tensor fascia latte is right here at the bottom of that great trochanter and it comes down to the front of the femur and connects here. So as far as movement, this one also does the abduction point, so it pulls the leg out. It also does flexion, which pulls the leg forward, and then it does rotation. All right, so that covers the insertion and the origin and the movement of all the three major butt muscles. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or even suggestions on videos that you would like to see me share, I'm working on anatomy. I'll be continuing on the leg muscles. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you next time.